We know that crossing over does occur, however, during meiosis. So when the females of the F1 generation make ova, they have their two X chromosomes in the form of sister chromatids forming a tetrad and synapsing. During this process, crossing over occurs where genes can be cut from one parental chromosome and transferred to that of another. And so therefore, while the original condition was for the three wild type alleles to be located together, or the three mutant alleles to be located together, this linkage group can be broken up by crossing over. If crossing over separates the mutant white gene from the other two, then there will be male flies in the F2 generation, which are yellow and miniature, but do not have white eyes. And there will be other flies which have white eyes, but are not yellow, nor do they have miniature wings. These are the phenotypes which will be observed if white is separated from the other two phenotypes. If crossing over separates the yellow gene from the other two, then uh, there will be flies which have a yellow body, but that is their only mutant phenotype. They would be wild type for brick red eyes and normal length wings. There would, however, be flies which have both white eyes and miniature wings, but do not have a yellow body. These two phenotypes would result if yellow moves relative to the other two genes. Finally, if the gene miniature moves relative to the other two genes, then there would be flies which have miniature wings, and that's their only mutant uh, condition. There would be other flies which have yellow bodies and white eyes, but not miniature wings. All of the flies other than the wild type and the yellow uh, white miniature flies would be known as the recombinant flies because the only way of getting these phenotypes is as a result of crossing over in meiosis.